reason you take this job if you're here. You're going to have high expectations, and there should be. We've got a good hockey team. Um, uh, we've got a lot of good a lot of good pieces returning, you know, in, in all our spots and depth. We do have a, a dynamic of six new forwards. There's going to be a little time frame to, to have our forward group blend together. We lost 39 goals to three players, um, but we're going to replace it. It's just, you know, that's the one thing that we, we need a little time. What do you know about Alaska Pub? Nothing. No, no film on them, obviously, because they didn't play last year. Is it uh, what you would? <laughs> We know nothing. Yeah. And you know how do you, how do you how do you it's prepare? All, from the start of the year, it's all about us. Yeah. I mean, everything that we're putting in right now is our systems, how we're going to play. Um, we've had limited, you know, you know, we haven't even done face-offs yet. Uh, we're going to get things in, and and that's your concentration, you know. I, and I, you know, two weeks ago when we started these four hours a week, I said we got, we got a, like a I'm calling it like a four or five week training camp, and that's how you know. It, 100% of everything we're doing right now and for those five weeks is how we want to play, what we want to do. Uh, you know, we'll get some film Saturday after we play the game, uh, but I, we have none now. And, uh, there's nothing to do. Yeah. Uh, you, you talk about replacing that offense or, or trying to match that offense that you had last year. Does it put a different pressure on your freshman group to, to produce right away? No, it's, they, want, they want to produce. No. So they, they, they put pressure on them. Uh, you know, we're going to probably start off with kind of veterans, 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 with kind of our young guys kind of spread around the lineup and mm -hmm. and uh, whatever our lines look like today, I'm sure they're going to be different next week, I would guess. And we have to have a starting point, and uh, that's it right now. How nice is it going to be to have this place, this place packed again? I mean, there's some guys on your team that never felt this place rock with, with fans. Well, it's, it's, it was I'll tell you where, last year, and I said it, as we were going through the year, I really gave our guys credit. And as the year wore on, we noticed it at home. Because early in the year, you're just excited to play. We didn't know we were going to play. And then, as we, as we watched some film from last year, and just, it's weird to, to go back and look at film with no crowd. Uh, and we're going to, uh, I think you saw Sammy, we had the one practice where the band was warming up for and the Ritter was packed with the band. And like you could, our intensity of our practice went up tenfold. And um, it's going to be great to have fans back in our building. And, and you know, and that's going to, we're going to grow. Our fans are going to grow as the season wears, you know, get through football season and get the hockey season. Bob, the play down the middle lineup is so important. He's got Foley coming back, a lot of D coming back. Do you know who your centers are going to be this year that you're going to count on? Well, we'll start off with, with Walker and, and, and Myers and Nelson and, and Pervix or Sorensen. I mean, we've got all veterans down the middle uh, to start right now. And uh, it's just going to look different on the sides. Uh, and I can tell you, we're, this might be one of the quicker, faster teams that I've been around. And, and we got to learn to play with that now and, and really use that speed. So um, when we're deep down the middle, you know, everybody's returning from – D court goalie, as you said, in our, in our center position. I hope that bodes well for us. You often talk about the season and segments. What are you looking for out of the first segment of the season? Um, I, I, you know, big thing for for us, it, it, you know, the, the, the first, you know, three series, let's say, where we get six games underneath us, uh, uh, playing the way we want to play, and 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 that is. And you can already tell in practice from our, from our blue line back, it, it, it's kind of picking it up, but it is the new group of forwards, and I'll repeat that. When you add six new forwards, now Pitlick's out, uh, he, he got dinged up, so he'll be out this weekend, so we're, we're down one, but Conan Crookshank, who's a transfer in, he's got veteran, but he's still a little nervous trying to figure out what we're doing. There's, We just need a little time to figure that part out, and that's normal. That, that, that's college athletics. You know, Old guys leave, new guys come in. and, and um, it's going to be a fun part of this team to see how it all comes together. Well, I know it's early, but who has impressed you elevating their game from last year to this season so far? All right, I wasn't ready to talk about individuals yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, well I, the you know the big thing for us is, is you know the the guys coming off summers where like. 
you, you saw some athletes really take steps as athletes. Now I, I don't, I'm not sure like Faber could be better, but my goodness is he in a different place a year now from where he was a year ago at this time, and that that's pretty exciting. Where you know like his numbers and how he trained. I'm just th throwing that you know there, there's a handful of guys that that uh, uh, had terrific off seasons and. Doesn't always transfer to the games, mm -hmm. and then we got a couple guys playing catch up, uh, and that's normal. The bigger guys usually takes a few weeks to, you know, um, you know. Sammy's been fast from from birth, and he, he's jumping off the page. Uh, um, but that's that early season. We're waiting for some guys to catch up. So you're not going to get me to talk about a lot of individuals right now. So I'm doing a really good job avoiding your question. <laughs> uh, Way to go. Uh, <laughs> But I'll talk about the obvious. And, and, uh, our, our decor, Faber, Johnson, yeah. Cole, Kester, uh, Fish, Stoddicker, Brinkman. I mean, they got a little swagger about their, you know, where. See, Stoddicker is scoring some goals, too. And he, he, he does every year at the start. <laughs> yeah. So we're reminding him just to continue to do that. And he's been, he's been really good in practice. But that, uh, um, you know, for two years, it was kind of, we really had young defensive corps. And it was that spending a lot of time with that decor, and now we, we're flipping it to the forwards. Um, so. I know it's early in the season, but is one of the exciting parts like getting to look at the forwards with such new faces there, right? And see like who has chemistry, like who's the next Sammy and Blake and that kind of stuff. You got it. <laughs> I mean, that's, and that's what happens with a large group, you know, with a real strong group returning. Um, uh, you know, all right, I'll bring I'll bring two guys up, for example, and not if I'm going to bring up favor, I got to bring up Ben Myers. Uh, uh, whole different level in his training as well, but like, he and Nye seem to have a little chemistry. But it, um, Nye's doesn't look like a, a freshman, and we all saw that. You know, we we heard about it, or if you watched online the World Juniors, where he had a terrific World Junior. Uh, uh, there's something there, early. I hope a month from now I'm still talking about that and other guys, but just to bring up, you know, two guys that have a little chemistry early or, or, or those two together. Um, and I think if I tried to pry him away right now, Ben Myers might break a stick over my ankle because he feels it, and that's great to have that. Well, I was curious about the Craig Kirkshank, and I mean, obviously he comes from pretty good stock. How does he skate? Oh, his skating is phenomenal, cool, phenomenal. I mean, really. It's it's special. Yeah. His work ethic, and you know, he was a captain and a leader. But it's kind of reminds me of when when Lafontaine was here two years ago. Lafontaine, and, and such a great kid as you guys have got to know. Grant is he's just an unbelievable kid. He's being very respectful right now, and I want him to get over that. Like he, he's deferring almost to be like a freshman. And it took a half a year for we, you've heard me talk about Lafontaine. He's loading and unloading the bus. It, no, you know, you're not. That's and Grant is coming in as a leader, but you can't help but he's gonna. He's really respectful, and there's gonna be a time I, I'm sure very soon where he's just gonna say, "Okay, I'm here. I, I, I'm here," um, and then he's gonna help us. Uh, we lost those two big, strong, heavy forwards that we talked about, uh, Reedy and Ranta, and Grant. Grant has the work ethic and size because he's built, so he's so strong. He's going to give us some muscle and, and terrific speed. So it's just it's going to take a little time. Oh, you don't play St. Thomas this year, but how different is it having a, another program here in the Twin Cities? And you know, have you communicated with Rico at all? And we're going to scrimmage him. Yeah, uh, we're going to pick him up on an exhibition game this oh, year. Good. So I don't think we've announced it yet, but uh, we're working on the details because they, they allowed us now to do an exhibition game. Uh, then we'll do that after Christmas when we have that long break. Um, I, you're asking me a question that I haven't played yet, you know, <laughs> like at this level, and it's going to take time. But yeah. uh, uh, to think here we are, how many we have in our state now? And we've Six. talked about it so, so, much, so many times. And, you know, it used to be one, then it was two, and then, and then now here we are at six, and our state deserves it. And um, then have another one here in the Twin Cities. I think it's exciting. A lot of extra practice last year at this time, but you're starting in October instead of starting in 
Thanksgiving? How much, how much does it feel kind of normal? Well, I'm back to the opposite actually is, is we had that long runway last year. Got COVID behind us. We had a lot of practice. So when we started playing, I felt we were ready and we showed. I mean, we're, and, and we have a weird college rule is you can't practice until you start school. We're one of the last schools to start in the country. And then I never practiced the first week. Uh, so we didn't start practice until September, that, that Monday, that Tuesday after. Um, Monday, Tuesday after the seventh. So whatever you guys help me with the math of the day that was. Uh, that's a late start, mm -hmm. but you know, I, I'm used to that. Uh, uh, we're just behind. Where we weren't behind to start last year, we were we were ready to go. But we'll catch up. You know, we'll we'll, we'll get there. Bob, you mentioned that Myers and Dines have a little bit of chemistry. Have you found anybody else so far that you think could be a pair this year? McLaughlin and Walker. <laughs> 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 you know, I'm just. You know, eventually, you, you, like, we'll talk as coaches. Well, maybe we should try something else, and then until you start practicing, they're together, um, and they just got chemistry together, and, it, and it's going to be fine who plays with them, and and um, and it's early too, to, with Myers and Nyes too. Like, I, I just it's one thing we've saw in our very short time. Um, uh, we're deep, like forward lines. I. I don't see a whole lot of difference between the four lines we're suiting up right now. Um, uh, it, it, it may be the deepest team I've ever coached, um, and I hope that I hope a month from now I'm describing that better for all of you in, in, in more detail. But our, our speed and skill uh, and, and little swagger we have is is pretty neat right now. It's got to come together. We're going to get punched in the nose here pretty soon, and, and we'll see what we got underneath the hood. Hughlin is from Roseau, obviously. He said uh, he picked number seven because that was Neil Broughton's number. Probably some fun confidence there in him, huh? Yeah, and, he, you know, boy, he, he battled such a tough couple years with the injuries that he's had. But uh, what he did coming back from injury last year, second half in Fargo, he really showed that he's got some scary competing and, and showed us something with I think a lot of people didn't know what he had, and um, where he's behind a little bit physically because of the injuries that he's had. Um, his hockey sense and his work ethic and his compete level are are, are pretty cool. He's going to be a good hockey player. He's going to he's going to do some things here. Selfishly, is it nice to be back in this room talking to us in person, or do you miss the zooms? I really like the zoom. <laughs> <laughs> But I really like this too. <laughs> what do you get? I mean, well, it's pretty easy for you. You didn't have to get a car and come down here and park. <laughs> like, is there, you know, <laughs> or did you want to get out of the office and, yeah. and get yeah. out here? I'm here. I'm here either way. So uh, get out of the house. You bet. Uh, you got a decor that can get the puck up the rink, and you got seven new freshmen. And on one side, there's going to have to be some patience to, for the decor. But five new freshmen. Five, five, okay. five freshmen and then uh, uh, forwards. Forwards, right. And then one transfer. How uh, how do you meld that? What, is it through through practice and repetition and yeah. drills and getting the puck up the ring? Yeah, fine. Like, 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 I've said this before. I, I've never picked the lines in the summer yet in my career where, you know, I jotted them down and go and I had the answer. Go, that's the lines. You have to start playing games. You have to... Uh, you, you got to do a little mix and match when you're playing, when you're, you know, when you, especially when you got new groups coming in. Um, I can have an idea of sometimes what you might want to look at, and sometimes it, it's awful, it never looks good. But you, you, you have to have a starting point, and, and, and it'll find itself. You know, the one thing I did talk, we talked about today, is, is like our power play, our power play needs an overall. Our power play has not been at, at, a, at, a, at a high level. Uh, it was our first year here, but the last two years, it's been good, but not where it needs to be. So there's some competition. We're going to look for, we're looking for the right chemistry. And whether it's by committee or like Christmas the first year, we, when we finally went with five forwards, our power play took off. So there's one area that, that we're in. It's, uh, 
There are no spots on our power play right now that are going to be handed out. You're going to have to earn those. I think 18% last year or something, you know, and uh, we got to be better there. Do you think you have a defenseman who can really shoot the puck this year? I know that's something we've been looking for. So we can yeah. Well, they're all out. older, stronger. You know, we didn't give Dave's a lot of chance last year in the power, a little bit in the second half. He, he can, you know, he, he can shoot it. Um, Jackson, Nelson, I mean, they're there. Um, but like Novak didn't shoot a lot. He was a passer and then it was really good. And, you know, we learned, we could, we could shoot on the flanks that year when we had a really good power play with she on one flank and Pitlick on the other. Um, that's what you look for is, is, is some years you can power on the top or you got to come from the side. Or, and that's what we're, today was, today was day one of the power play. So, day one. You know, some teams have been practicing mid-August. I mean, it's crazy we don't have a common start date. That we're, you know, but it is what it is. We will catch up. Is that it? All right, gang. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. Thanks, Good to Bob. see everybody. Weird to be starting in October instead of Thanksgiving like last year. I don't know what I liked more, to be honest with you. We had practices up until November, so it's nice to get all the practices in you can. Now this one kind of sneaks up on you. Yeah. Uh, Alaska didn't play last year. No yeah. film on them. Is that a different dynamic going into a game when you have no idea you know, who's going to shoot the puck or, or from where? Yeah, the biggest thing for me, like from my standpoint, is definitely power play. So we're probably gonna have to go back two years, um, kind of analyze what options they had, so on and so forth. But definitely there's gonna be some new personnel. Um, so it'll be a little bit of a challenge. And um, it's all about preparation this week. Things are gonna come fast. We're gonna make mistakes, obviously, but um, you know, all about how we react and all about you know how we start off in that opening uh, drop the puck. Samuel was saying earlier about how much he likes having you back there. How much does it help, I'll say, to allow them to play as aggressively as they want to be able to play, knowing that at any given moment you're going to be able to you know, have their back like that? Well, I mean, that's just the type of players they are, right? Like, those are guys that need to make uh, you know, jumps in the play, and they need to take risks. And to be quite honest with you, I don't know if they make a lot of mistakes. So, yeah, I'm back there, but they make my job a hell of a lot easier when they're uh, – executing to a T, but, um, you know, I, I got one job that's to stop the puck, and, you know, I got sixth grade D in front of me this year, and, um, you know, I'm probably the luckiest goalie in the entire NCAA right now, so that's so why I come with you with a smile on my face. <laughs> now, you say that, but it almost sounded like that they were about as thrilled having you back as, you know, you being here. What does that mean to all say to come back here? Well, I mean, it's a mutual respect thing, right? Like, our our decor, they put in work, I see that, and vice versa. I put in work and they see that. And, um, you know, it's kind of us against the world. Obviously, the forwards are there to help us, but, um, you know, for a lot of these guys, and, you know, myself included, our first year and their freshman year, you know, we've kind of had our highs and lows and we've kind of gutted out some tough periods. So, you know, we finally feel like we have everything solidified here and uh, we're ready to take that next step to be uh, an elite team. Sammy said he had a pretty good idea that you're coming back this year. What kind of went into that thought process of exercising, figuring out what you wanted to do, and how did you tell everyone? Well, it wasn't really much of a selling pitch that you know Coach and Sammy uh, gave me. Um, you know, I just kind of uh, leveled with them that um, you know this is my home. This is uh, where I got my second shot in college, and it was kind of uh, a saving grace, if you will. So uh, for me, I, I haven't had a lot of experience being the number one goalie and. You know, here I am, uh, first time I'll be, um, have the opportunity to play a lot of games in the full season. So uh, that's definitely something that you can't take for granted, especially at the next level. So um, this is my home, like I said. So um, I know in my heart of hearts that I made the right decision and I'm just pumped to get back on the ice and kind of have some normalcy with the upcoming season. Your coach talks about two years ago you were carrying bags and doing all the things that freshmen do. and Still and, telling that story? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he likes that story. Um, and he said now he catches Cruikshank doing that a little bit. Have you uh, kind of taken Grant aside as a transfer and say, you know, given him any advice? Well, you know what, the thing about Crookie, and I think everyone would say that he's a phenomenal guy. Um, you know, I, coach will say what he wants to him. I can say what he wants to want to Crookie, but um, he's still going to do it. 
you know what I mean? Uh, I think the team culture here, you know, just encapsulates what certain players do, like away from the rink, and you know, Kirky embodies that, right? He does things that, you know, that aren't expected of him, and you know, of course, he's been a captain at Colorado College for I think two years, so that's just the type of guys that you know, Coach Monsko is bringing in, and you know, away from the rink, he's a phenomenal guy, great sense of humor, and um, you know, guys see that. And when guys see that, it kind of rubs off on everyone. And, um, you know, I think that just really shows the type of person he is and the character that he has. How would you describe the, I don't know, motivation or excitement around this year? The fact that two years ago it ended short, right? And then last year you got really close to the Frozen Four, but not quite. Like, you've got so many returners. Is, is there just an excitement or a level of just feeling like this is kind of the year? Well, that's the funny thing about hockey, right? It either ends in a win or ends in a loss. And, you know, two years ago it didn't end in either. And then last year it ended in a loss, right? So both seasons kind of left a bad taste in our mouth. And, um, you know, again, I'm going back to the, the freshmen that were here my first year. Um, there were a lot of highs and lows. And, you know, to have a year like we did last year and come up short, it's, it's heartbreaking. Uh, a lot of people take that personally, and we take that as a team together. And, um, you know, obviously the pinnacle of college hockey is to win a national championship. It's probably one of the biggest cliches, but um, I know for our guys and I know for our team culture that we're rooted in something deeper. And I think that's camaraderie, that's love for one another, and that's respect. So those three principles are something that, you know, when we walk into the room, we respect one another. And on top of that, we love one another. You know, it, again, huge cliche, but we're brothers. You know, we, we understand what makes each other tick. We understand, uh, you know, our personal lives. And um, I think when you have that mutual respect, I think good things happen. You know, you take the hockey out of the equation and you start to treat people like, you know, family and um, the sky's the limit from there. Jack, last week your coach said there might be times this winter when he needs you guys more than, than you guys need him with, with all, you know, his family's dealing with. Yeah. Is there a sense of, you know, rallying around uh, the Motsko family or kind of doing this for Bob? I'm 23 years old and I don't think I've met someone as strong as Bob Motsko. Um, you know, I say that with a smile on my face because, you know, obviously, um, you know, it's a, it's a difficult situation. You know, one I can't even wrap my head around because I don't even have kids. But, you know, for Bob to be here, for Bob to be as strong as he is, um, <laughs> I mean, he's a, he's a special, special human being. Um, you know, he's still the same coach I had three years ago he's still the same guy that recruited me and you know whether that holds true uh, in his heart of hearts I just know that you know all our hearts go out to him and um, you know we're not obviously you know people are going to talk about doing something special uh, for his cause but you know coach is an individual that doesn't want to make a big deal of it he wants to keep things private and uh, that's something for the team and for others to respect and you know, we're always going to be here for Coach because Coach has always been there for us. Like I said, we're a family. He's Big Papa Bear, so we listen to him. And uh, you know, it's funny how life works. Sometimes he needs us, and we'll definitely be there. And you know, we definitely have the leadership to kind of pick up on those days where he needs to be himself, and we 100% get that. And um, you know, obviously, I don't know the full picture of what's going on with him and with his family, but um, you know, he's our dad. You know, he's our, my parents always ask about him and, uh, you know, my heart just goes out to his and his family and, yeah. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, no Anything else for Jack? What, what do you think is, what do you think it's going to be like being able to come in here and seeing a packed arena that you haven't seen in quite some time and just having, I'll say, that sense of normalcy of a loud Mariucci arena? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be different. I don't think we've seen a packed Mariucci, uh, especially for the freshmen here. We were just getting over the hump, and we're starting to see some uh, you know, fans sauntering back into the building, so it was a nice, nice change. And um, Obviously, there's a little bit more of a buzz about us. And, you know, yeah, fans are great, but we just go about our business as we, uh, as we usually do. One or, uh, one or two thousand fans, it doesn't really matter for us. We're just going to play... Uh, play for Minnesota, play uh, Pride on Ice, and that's that. Uh
any big uh, endorsement deals in the off season now that you can uh, do the name image likeness thing? Well, I was going after GQ, but they said they already got enough guys. <laughs> What does grad school? Yeah. What does grad school look like? Sorry to be laughing at you, but <laughs> no, you're all good. What does uh, grad school look like for you? Uh, it's different. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I obviously graduated with uh, my degree, and now grad school. I'm going going into grad school with Paul Martin now, so it's uh, him and I on uh, Monday, Tuesday nights. So that's a little bit of a different change of pace. <laughs> Classes? Uh, uh, masters? What? Uh, yeah, we're in youth social development, so uh, social work uh, centered around youth, so there's a lot of teachers in there, um, social workers, um, nonprofit uh, organization management people in there, so it's definitely a unique little program that I actually really enjoy, and uh, to have Paul on it, it's uh, definitely icing on the cake for sure. So you really miss the student section at Michigan or Wisconsin or those guys? Well, I miss it most at Michigan, that's for sure. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun to have fans. It's going to be a blast. And, um, you know, whether we're home and away, it's just extra energy. You're on fire. With that, thank you, Jack. How things feeling? I mean, just uh, it, it, exciting? Or where, where are you guys at right now? Yeah, no, we're, uh, we're pretty pumped up right now. I think just... We're ready to get back on the ice and ready for some games, so it's exciting. When you've got so many new uh, forwards coming in, what is that like the first couple of weeks of practice getting to know them and trying to get their chemistry right? Yeah, I mean, all of them are unbelievable players, so it's kind of hard for them to jump right in. Um, I mean, little things like just getting the drills down, and, um, but no, I mean, they're, they transition really well, and it's exciting to you know see what they'll do seems like every year there's always big expectations for you guys. You guys come in, I think you're fourth overall coming into the season. How do you kind of wear that target? Yeah, um, I mean, ultimately, like, the rankings and everything, it, it doesn't matter that much. It's We're just trying to kind of pick up where we left off and, um, you know, play goal for hockey, try to win some games. Have you had a chance to have conversations with some of the younger guys and newer guys this year who haven't? played in this arena when it's packed out like it's going to be you know this season yeah i mean i just i keep telling them you know every game just stepping out there in front of you know, all those fans it's unbelievable and i'm excited to have everyone back in and they're for sure pumped up to just you know have fans in this house have you picked up on anything from the coaches that they've been focusing on you've had a lot of time on the ice leading up to your first game stand out? Yeah, I'm, we're a super skilled team, um, but we we need to have that, that grit and that, you know, kind of just that, that ground game, you know, uh, and playing hard. Uh, we've been working on just, you know, obviously we're a skilled team, like I said, and, and we're going to make plays, but also get pucks, you know, pass it to the goal line so we can, we can get that part of our game. He's, uh, it's fun having him, uh, him, you know, come here just because he was on a team with, with one of my good buddies. So it was easy to, you know, for him to transition here. And he's an unbelievable player. He's, he's going to be a good impact for us. And just to have, add that and have that more depth is huge. So. Sammy, what do you think your emotions are going to be like as far as having fans back in here and just getting regular games <laughs> the way you're used to having them? I think it's going to be easier to, to get up for games. Uh, I mean, obviously, we're, we're all hockey players, and it's, it's easy to go out there and just play um, when there's no fans out there. But just stepping on that ice with the packed crowd, it's, man, I'm really looking forward to it. So. What, what did you miss the most? Was it the band? Was it the fans? Was it what? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it just, I don't know how to describe it. It's just unbelievable. Just so and we're excited and we can't wait for it. What's it been like being a student now this fall? Very different compared to last year. There's all these events on campus. Like, what's the routine like? Do you have a lot of Zoom classes still, or? Yeah, I, I still have a couple Zooms, but I do have a couple in person, and it's 
I mean, just walking to class and seeing all the students out and, and sitting in the grass or you know a table and whatever, uh, people walking everywhere. It's it's just good to see again, uh, and and I've missed that just because I you know I like to talk to people you know so um, it's just good to see. It's awesome. Like I said earlier, all, all, everyone on this team, all the forwards are so good. And it's, it's easy to play with anyone, um, so it's it's not hard to transition to you know new guys on our right wing. Um, it's kind of funny we call ourselves the PB and J. They they try to split us up, and somehow we get back together. So um, I don't know. It's it's exciting to see who we'll play with. Having you build a team from gold out, you have a Mike Richter Award winner coming back in. Can, can you share us a little bit about when Jack gave you an idea that he might be coming back and, and what, what it means to this team? He was all like always kind of wanting to come back. Uh, so there, there really wasn't any doubt that we were going to lose him. Uh, but just hearing that he was officially coming back, it's, I mean, that's huge for us. He's, he's so good. And, I mean, you even see him practice, it's so hard to score on him. So it just gives us more confidence uh, playing our game that, you know, we have him back there. So, yeah. Does it mean anything to you to have two other guys who are also not wearing a C instead of uh, an alternate captain? Yeah. Uh, I mean, especially, you know, Jack and, and Benny. Just having those two guys, it, it makes my job a whole lot easier. Um, just because I, you know, I, I like to go and just play. We, our whole team, I mean, is awesome. I mean, the guys really make it easy for me. So my job isn't that hard. Sammy, uh, under NCAA rules, you can't talk about commitments. I know that. But uh, a kid from Edina recently committed to the Gophers, and he talked about growing up watching guys like you and guys like Mason Nevers. Did you watch Edina guys who played for the Gophers when you were a kid? And is it odd to have kids saying, I look up to Sammy Walker now? Uh, I mean, I... When I was, you know, back in high school and, and youth, uh, especially in youth, I would look up to like the varsity guys and, and watching all those guys and going to, you know, skate with the Hornets and going to skate with the Gophers. And, yep. Uh, so yeah, no, I for sure, you know, looked up to those guys that, that came here and, you know, all the players that came here. So yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Do you get a lot of that? Here? Yeah, no, I mean, the camp was awesome, and, and it was a blast. And the kids seemed to really have fun. Um, so, yeah, that, that was really fun. Is that something you think you want to keep going? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, I had a blast. My teammates had a blast. And the kids seemed to really have fun. So, hopefully, uh, you know, we can keep that going. Any other endorsement deals coming down the pipeline for you in the, in the new world? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that a big talk in the locker room at all? What <laughs> like deals people might want to uh, get into? Not really. I mean, guys don't really say much. Um, I don't think guys really care that much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, so, yeah, I don't know. How long were you camp? Three days. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so pretty short. Um, it was kind of funny at the end, the kids were like, well, you know, a week long, just say stuff like that. So uh, maybe we will go to a week uh, in the future. So we'll see. Let's go six days and get two groups. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. We'll see. Little, little extra pressure when one of the campers is named Parisi. Or... <laughs> yeah. yeah, you walk through the door, I'm like, wow, what up? <laughs> but yeah, no, and then that night I played against him in the beauty league, so, <laughs> so yeah, it's awesome. Anything else? No, nope, we're good. Thank you. Sweet, thanks, thanks guys. You.